guys, watch and learn about Blue Game. <laughs> Boy. I see a big X is there right there. You see one? Behind it. Oh, yeah, 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 I see him. What's up, everybody? Blue Game. We're here in Dixie County, Florida at Woods to Water Hunting Preserve. We're here to do an axis deer hunt. Go put out crawfish traps, let the kids play, let the kids fish. Fritos Moss Grande, come over here, Alberto. Hey, I heard you need a cameraman. Yeah, he drove five hours to be my cameraman. So I know it's mid-July right now and a lot of people aren't thinking about deer hunting, but axis deer are hard horned and in rut right now. And we're here to harvest one. I'm gonna shoot a buck. My little son Jake's gonna shoot a doe. Where are you at, Jake? Right here. You think you can hit one? Yep. Jake, why didn't you shoot? Because it was a buck. You have to shoot a buck. I've never not shot deer hunting because there was too many targets. You guys, this place is legit. No. He said. We're about to take a ride around with the kids, show y'all everything, and then we're just gonna start having fun. So. But can you smell it? You can't smell it now, but you will in a minute. That's a fact. We're getting ready to load up and pile up in the woods and go find us some deer. This ain't deer meat for dinner, but it's gonna be deer meat for dinner. That's right. Hey, you ready to go see some deer? Yeah. I'm what ready. about you? Yeah, I'm ready to shoot a deer. For real? All right, we're piling up to go take a ride and see what this place is all about. He said it's a beautiful ranch. We're about to go see. Oh, that black buck's acting frisky with it. All right, y'all. So one of the other things they offer besides huge axis deer and white tail bucks and black bucks is fun for the kids. We got these crawled out traps and we got a bunch of little kids. We're going to go catch some bluegills to cut in half and put in here and go put these in the ditch and see if we can't catch some crawdads. You think we can catch any, Aubrey? I think we're gonna do it. The Arringtons are here. Something's getting caught, cleaned, and cooked is all I can tell y'all. What you got? A big old bluegill. What are we gonna do with that? We're gonna cut that thing in half and we're gonna put it in the blue, in the crawdad traps. We're gonna catch some big ones. Hmm. What you think, Redneck? You know how you how you get two bait stacked for one fish? Huh. Cut that sucker in half with a dinko knife. There you go. Put each half in a trap. Let's go. Right. Zip her up. Look, look at old Sweetie Pie over here in pink doing it on her own. <laughs> Tough girl. All right, let's go set them. We're going to be catching some bass off them crawdads. Mm. Oh, you want to catch the crawdad to use for bass bait? Yeah, that's what do you think. I'm not. Oh, okay, let's go. Good throw. You might want to throw it a little deeper or Redneck's going to get your bait. <laughs> Here, let Jake help you. So he's already got his feet wet. Not she ain't going to let here. Jake help him. She's like, get out of my way. We're right in the middle. Perfect throw. All right, y'all. The buck stops now. We're breaking out the rifle and we're going to go shoot us one of these big axis bucks. We just took a ride, saw quite a few, but this place is so big and it's so thick and there's so many woods that this isn't going to be easy. We're gonna to try to take you along for the ride. We're definitely gonna show you the kill, but we're gonna to have to stalk these things and we can't be out there just filming everything. So you guys, this isn't your average hunting video, but it's gonna be a good hunting video. Let's go. Yeah, there he is right there. That's him, that's him. Big deer, he's coming this way too. He's come. No, he's walking away from us. This deer's put the slip on us. All right, we just had another buck get by us. We, these things are hard. So we're back on the hunt. straight up wind of them right now. We need to go that way.
These things are kicking our butt. Dude, we got a big one right here. I mean, a big one. Dude, this is one of the hardest hunts I've ever done. I don't know if I'm gonna get the camera, the shot on camera or not. First axis deer has hit the ground. We come running up here out of excitement. The deer we thought was still alive for a second. It wasn't alive. Perfect lung shot. I got it covered up. Don't want to get the video censored. The cool thing about these axis deer is the spots that are year round. And these particular deer are better eating than whitetails. Look at that rack. Hey, it's actually the next day. We started this stalk yesterday. All the way into dark last night. I'm telling you, these deer are smart. Oh yeah, it's a big time. They so, for the last hour, we've been on a big herd. And these woods are thick, they're swampy, they're nasty, they're full of cotton mouse, and they're full of these axis deer. And finally, we come walking up to one of his tree stands of all places, and the buck's standing there. So hey, oh my gosh. come on. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This doesn't bother you girls? You promise? Yeah. You're not going to have nightmares or anything? No. Redneck, what do you think? These are all mosquitoes. You think so? Yeah. There's Redneck. mosquitoes out here? They're prehistoric. Hey, what about you still sleeping right now? Started over at Blue Pond, came all the way around past Blue Pond, went down the hard pack road, went over to my personal stand, hung around here, walked through here, and they were sitting right here. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Two of them. Two bucks. Oh, just the two of them? Yeah. Jake. What? What he was just explaining to his wife is how far and what we did this morning. We filmed some of it along the way, but we got our butt spanked by one mega giant. But you know what? As far as eating wise, and that's what we're here for, is to fill the freezer, that's as good as they get. Oh, I saw a crawled out in there already. I know. It could be an eel. Oh my gosh. Bring him up here. There's crawdads in this thing. Bring him up here. It could be an eel. Come on, come up here. There's no eel. Come all the way up here in the road. There is some giant. Crawl that hold on, hold on now. We're gonna have to go get a bucket. Yeah. That thing is full. Holy Ooh. mackerel. Actually, let's put it back in the water. So they don't die. Let's go grab yours real quick and we'll bring it over here too. Pull it up here. Oh, I feel some weight. Yep, we're definitely gonna need a bucket. Oh, Molly's in there. Oh, that. there's a turtle. There's a oh turtle. Oh my gosh, you got a turtle. I got if y'all can't see the excitement in those kids' eyes, I don't know what to tell you. If you're out in the woods, find something that your kids can do as well. If you take them on a hunting trip, make sure you figure out something they can do during that hunting trip as well, if they're too young to hunt. Now we're going to go get a bucket and let them see exactly what they caught. And link below to Blue Game and watch and learn. <laughs> what do you say? Alright, y'all stop there and tell me what you got. We got some minnows. Every bass bait you're gonna need. You guys nice. The, the brim? So tell me about the crawdads. What do you have there? Oh, oh have wow! Is that a? That's beautiful. That looks like a little warmouth sunfish. Warmouth. Can you get this oh, Herman. Yeah, Jake or Luke, what do you have? Crawfish. Crawfish. You gonna eat some crawdads? We're gonna use them as bait so you can catch bigger bass. Boy, that sure is a big one. What on earth? Has this thing got COVID? Oh my goodness, take that goofy looking thing off. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. He ain't right, y'all. I'd get on there and weigh myself, but I think I'm about 10 pounds heavy right now. <laughs> what are we guessing? <laughs> the deer? Yeah. Probably 130? No. No? Buck 43. I can't get over how beautiful they are. already at 190 200 <laughs> 225 240 
Oh gosh, 260. Keep going. Oh, he broke the scale. He broke the scale at 340. What's it say? Buck 50, like 152, 151. Me and him weigh about the same amount. <laughs> Hey, we did work y'all. We did work. I can tell you that was one of the most challenging hunts I've ever done. Aubrey will tell you I was about ready to give up. Not quit hunting completely, but come in and eat a sandwich and regroup. We had one mega giant buck. I don't even know if we really got him on film, but he stayed in the swamp and he wouldn't come out. Now today about, I don't know, two o'clock, it came a raining like never before. I mean, it was bad. So we took the kids fishing now we're back here at camp. We've had this deer in the cooler today. Just letting him cool off before we started the cleaning process. I want to save his skin because it's such a unique pattern. I mean, look at that. They keep their polka dots all year round their whole life. And the axis deer is one of the few deer that can shed his horns any time of the year. You'll see some with horns, some without horns, some just growing horns. They came from India and they normally are pretty big herd style deer like you you typically won't see just one and here at Woods to Water Preserve they've got a bunch but I can tell you right now I'll put myself and Aubrey and Justin who's running behind the camera who owns the place against anybody hunting <laughs> there was a point where I'm like right before we shot this deer I'm like let's just go to the house and start over like this we need to go see the kids. I brought Luke and Jake, or Aubrey brought them up here to meet me. These deer were giving us a run for their money. They do not play. They don't put up with any movement. But if you're not the spot and stalk type of guy, because that's how I wanted to do it, he's got awesome tree stands here. Ground blinds, tall ladder stands. I mean, pretty much something for everybody. This place is so beautiful. It has planted pines, oak flats, palmettas, swamp, marsh pretty much anything you could imagine normally i would already be done but i'm wanting to take my time so i don't poke a hole through the skin i'll take you in the lodge in a minute where he already has a tanned hide and it's so beautiful so as you can see you're getting the point i start up here at the hams and i slowly work my way down we'll be back in a second when i lay it out on that table and show you how to cut the different style muscles off the bone all right, so just like that, we got the front legs off, the back legs off, all the skin. Now we have the front shoulders, the back straps, the ribs, the hams, and the inner tenderloins. All right, so we just got done carving the whole deer up. Front shoulders, ham, back straps, both sides of the neck meat. There's the other shoulder and there's the other ham. I also kept all the rib meat. So I know this might seem really, really barbaric and harsh to a bunch of y'all watching this, but this is life. Every human on this planet's ancestor at some point did this. If not your great-grandpa or your grandpa or your dad or you do it now. Just respect the animal, take care of all the meat, eat it and enjoy it. Right now I'm going to go inside and get me a drink. When I get home to my house in Stewart where I'm going to cook all this, Aubrey had to go home early so he's going to come over and eat dinner with me. I'll give you all of the details to Woods to Water Preserve where we're at right now. They offer all kinds of awesome stuff and this place is five star. The cabin, everything inside is gorgeous. The staff, everybody, highly recommended. I'll see y'all in Stewart. All right, just like that, we're back. Aubrey's not here though, he's working unfortunately. I have all the kids, and I even have one strange guest over here in my in my living room. Look at Mr. Mike Moore hanging fans. Look what we got though. This is some of that Axis Deer backstrap. We've also got one of my staple foods growing up, cream of corn, and we've got a little bit of bacon grease and a little bit of oil and some white rice. I'm gonna pan fry this Axis Deer backstrap just like what we grew up on, and I'm gonna show you the process, and I'm gonna show you how to make the gravy at the end. So I'm gonna do this in steps with no cameraman as quick as I can. A little bit of the Dano's original. Just about like that. Hey, thanks for coming over and taking care of my living room. No problem. We got us a Ziploc bag full of flour. Just take the meat, put it in the bag. Once you get all the meat in the bag, shake it up. All right, once I get it all completely breaded, I take it out of the bag, get the excess off. Now this is the other half of that back strap. This is the bigger, thicker piece. This is a smaller, thinner piece at the end up closer to his shoulders. For this, I'll save it for grilling later on this week. Got my cream of corn going. Now with my cream of corn, 
I use cans. Y'all don't hate on me, that's what I use. I use one can of whole kernel corn, one can of cream corn. White rice, half bacon grease, half vegetable oil. Y'all leave a comment below and tell me what's your favorite way to cook deer meat. All right, here goes nothing. Now that's what we call pan fried, not deep fried. I only want the meat halfway covered in grease. All right, now's where the magic happens. This is what we call a gravy. I'm taking the same flour that I used to fry the deer meat in, just about like that. And you wanna sit here and stir it up as quick as you can. I'm using a wooden spoon so I don't scratch the pan. You want that flour to soak up all the juices and goodness. When you're adding the flour, turn the heat up because you want it to get super, super hot for the next step. And the next step is to take the water and milk and slowly start adding it. Stir as you go. You'll see it'll start getting real thick and gooey. Keep stirring. If you don't have the heat up, it won't work though. You have to have the heat up. A little bit at a time. You just keep stirring and stirring and stirring. If you try to do this at a low heat, it'll be clumpy and lumpy and not so good. Now, once you get it to this point where I've added all the water, you wanna bring it to a boil and as soon as it comes to a boil, turn the heat off and let it settle and it'll get that thick, rich goodness. All right, so here we go. You add rice, corn, deer meat, Bam, look at that. Y'all, let's eat. Thank you, dear Lord, for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for this wonderful food and everything you did and this wonderful day. And thank you for letting Mr. Moore, Moore come out here and fix the fans safely. And thank you for everything you did. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah. But look at this, you guys. Look at this. But look at that, y'all. You remember that huge black grouper? There it is. All right, y'all dig in and start eating. All right. All right. Look how cool that is. What you think, Luke? You got anything you want to say to your fans? This meat is good. You want to see how it tastes good? The chicken's like brown. It's not chicken, that's axis deer. What you oh. think, Venture? It's good. Y'all, that's a new friend of ours, a fan of the show, Venture, Jake, Mr. Moore. He's good friends with my dad and my family, and that's my son, Luke. What yeah. you think, Mr. Moore? I think it's great. Best job I've done in a while. Get bad, too. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, that's how we grew up. Fried deer meat, white rice, brown gravy, and cream of corn. If you don't like that, mm, I don't even know what to tell y'all. Thank you for giving me my camera. Oh, you're welcome. All right, so y'all can see that food didn't last long. But I told you I was gonna tell you about Woods to Water, and I'm going to, but I'm gonna put all the information in the link below. Just go under the video, check the description, and look for the link to Woods to Water. It's a brand new facility. They just bought it, and they're bringing in all kinds of new awesome cabins and new fun things to do for everybody. You guys, I highly recommend that place. But right now, we gotta get up out of here, because I gotta finish editing this video. And like Jake always says, it's time to get up what? We're getting the heck out of shape.